I watched this boy carry his first long-awaited mission. Thunk, might I add. And I think you've wasted your time in this one. He's not a promising recruit. He is just a selfish boy with his heart set on vengeance. And I realise that this boy is a goddamn idiot! I doubt he even knew this target was a vampire. Vampire? Yes, immortal blood sucking demons. Fortunately for you, Mr. Lincoln, hunting them is something of a hobby. The vampires are just myths. Myths don't beat you senseless after you put a bullet in their brain. No, Mr. Lincoln, vampires are real. They exist in every city and every state. In the Union. If what you say is true, you could help me kill them. I could pay you to kill them. My services are not for sale. And the word you are looking for is destroy. It is quite a feat to kill that which is already dead. I do not understand. My mother wasn't murdered. And if I teach you how to murder her murderer, so what? How will that honor her memory? How will that benefit the next boy whose mother is taken? If vengeance is all you seek, seek it elsewhere. Teach me to fight as you do. Please, I'll do anything you say. You promise to cast aside all notions of vengeance and commit to the life of a hunter? You will have no friends, no family. I will give you names. I told him what he wanted to hear, but all I cared about was killing the monster that took my mother. Scottish Highland pistol. And if one barrel's not enough. Seven should do you. The blunderbuss. And if you lose your ball, you can always stuff your pocket watch down the end of it. So, Abe. Which one takes your fancy? Actually, I haven't had the best of luck with shooting irons. But, um... I was a rail splitter. I'd like you to chop this tree down with a single swing. That tree? It's got to be more than a foot across. That's impossible. But it isn't a tree. It's what you hate most in the world. So tell me, Mr. Lincoln, what do you hate? I hate Jeff Forrest. Then strike him down. Well, clearly you don't hate him that much. Tell me what you hate. I hate that my mother was taken away. Inadequate. I hate that we were afraid. And that my mother, father, everyone that we knew lived in fear. Pathetic. I hate that I was too small. Too weak. Yes. And that you failed. Yes. To protect her. Yes. And that you let her die. Power, Lincoln. Real power comes not from hate, but from truth. Ladies and gents, it's Cyberland coming back to you with another film review. (laughs) 
Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. <coughs> so, I had heard about this film, and I was intrigued. I was just like, this is obviously fiction. But, I felt a need to, to watch it. And at a certain point, I did. I remember one of my friends was like, man, that's stupid. That film's going to be dumb as hell. It's going to fail the box office. Which I think it did, but nonetheless, the film was still entertaining. So it's about Abraham Lincoln, and he sees his mother um, killed at a young age by a vampire. And he tries to find a way to avenge her death and kill the vampire he's not able to. And throughout the film, he spends a, lot, a good amount of his time hunting down vampires and taking them out. And little by little, he grows older, he ends up having a family, and um, he's still trying to take out vampires while he's also now involved in politics and being the president. And that's pretty much what the film's about. Um, it's entertaining. It's not anything that, that's like, oh, that, you know, oh, wow, the speech here. It's just like, nah, it's just Abraham Lincoln going around killing vampires. And whether it's believable or not, who gives a shit? It's a, it's fiction. It's just interesting how they take a bunch of what happened in, in Lincoln's uh, life and intertwine it with vamp vampirism. I thought that was pretty cool. Didn't have a problem with that. Um, as far as the story, I was cool with it. As far as Abraham's uh, mentor, he I, I he was badass. I liked him. Hopefully, <coughs> well, there's been talks about continuing the story um, through like a uh, TV series or something. That'd be cool if they could do it, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. This might be just a one-off thing. Um, the cast was great. Didn't have any issues there. As far as... The pacing of the film, I was cool. As far as the action, I was cool with that. I, I felt there was there was a good amount of action. But the film's not perfect, and I would say in regards to the, it's just not. <coughs> I think with regards to his wife, they probably should have done a little bit more work with building up her character for what she ended up becoming. Um, that's where I kind of had an issue with, but otherwise she was still badass for what she did do. My rating for the film is a 9 out of 10 yes sirs. I would say like, if you're not going to take it seriously, if you're just going to watch the beat, just have a good time, like just... Pop some popcorn, have some nachos, have some candy, whatever your, your flavor is, and just sit down and watch the damn thing. I think you'll be good. But if you're kind of like, well, that's not what Abraham Lincoln, that never, blah, 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 blah. if you start going into that bullshit, then don't bother. Because it's just fiction. This never happened. Abraham Lincoln was not a vampire hunter. It, it's not believable. It's just, if you can... Turn your brain off and just be like, this is literally just a what if movie that somebody came up with and just watch it for that. I think you'll be fine. The minute you start incorporating more than that into like this should be in the film and it should be this, it should be that. That's when it's like, OK, you and you entirely missed the point And this film is not for you. Turn it off. Go watch something else or go do something else, because I think the problem with when people nitpick these type of films is like it's not meant to be taken like Abraham Lincoln can or can't do these things. We know he can't do them. It's literally just a fictional story. It never happened. It's just taking things about Abraham Lincoln and just saying even though he said he was doing all these things, he was actually hunting vampires at these time periods. That's it. If you can accept that if you can keep that in the back of your mind then I think you can watch the film and enjoy it for the fact that it's literally just a work of fiction and nothing more 
I think sometimes just people don't understand. I understand when you want to, when you have a film that has rules implemented and they need to follow the rules that they already came up with. But at the same time, if it's a film that doesn't have any rules outside of fighting vampires, then what the fuck are we talking about here? Well, Abraham Lincoln can't do these things. I understand that. But it could have been George Washington. Would it have mattered? It's the fact of we're taking a, a, a former president, a deceased president from a long time ago, and we're just saying, what if he was a vampire hunter? How badass would that be? It's kind of like when they made think of, of snakes on a plane or <coughs> um, cocaine bear. Snakes on a plane was fucking stupid as hell. We all know that. Like, I think the cast even realized that this is some stupid ass shit. You know what? Let's just make it entertaining and just be funny and leave it at that because this is a stupid. This is a stupid film. There's there's nothing redeeming about it. It's literally just. A film where you turn your brain off for an hour and some change, and that's it. The same thing with the Cocaine Bear movie. Like, people were running in droves to see that. I have no interest in seeing that, but I understand it's just a stupid film. It's not meant to win awards. It's not meant to be like, oh, I love the acting of them of trying to run away from a bear that's on cocaine. Really? It's just like, it's not, not every film has to have, like, some memorable lines or be like, uh, you know, it, it stands the test of time. Cocaine Bear doesn't do that. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter doesn't do that either. It's just, it's just entertainment. And if you can enjoy it, if you can accept it for that, then you'll like the film. I think you would. If you try to take it, make it more than, than just being that, you're going to have a problem. So for those watching, please keep that in mind. If you're, if you're really like... This is, I don't know if I can watch this. Just, if you can have an open mind that this is fiction. It's just a, it's just going to be action oriented but entertainment. Nothing more than you'll enjoy it. So with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.